I'm Danny the Guide and are you ready for today's London snippet of history? Today we're going to be talking about one of London's oldest obelisks. This is Cleopatra's Needle that sits on the embankment overlooking the River Thames. Over 200 years ago this 180 tonne monolith was lying in the sands of Alexandria in Egypt. In 1797, the French army under Napoleon Bonaparte entered Egypt seeking supremacy over Egypt and its artefacts. But the British were hot on their tail and the Battle of the Nile ensued in 1798 between the British and the French, where the French saw defeat and the British victory. The Turkish viceroy at the time in Egypt gifted this obelisk as a memorial to a victorious campaign to the British. But at the time, the British didn't have enough of the right equipment to bring it to England, London, and so there it stayed, lost and almost forgotten. Forgotten until General James Alexander took a trip to Paris and saw a similar obelisk in France. He started to make inquiries about the British one, but the government at the time had no interest whatsoever in financing this campaign. But luckily, Erasmus Wilson, who was a surgeon and a friend of Alex uh, James Alexander, was really keen to finance, and it also helped that living in Alexandria at the time was John Dixon, who really loved the idea of this technical challenge of bringing such a heavy monolithic obelisk home to London. The solution they came up with was to encase the entire needle in an iron hull shaped like a cigar, and they named it the Cleopatra. Cleopatra was um, attached to a steamer that was on its way to bringing it home and in 1877 it pulled into the port of Biscay where a storm hit. It actually blew up the Bay of Biscay and also it killed six of the crew members. It became so treacherous that they had to leave the Cleopatra behind cutting it away from the steamer and so the Cleopatra was left to its own devices to drift in the sea and blow where the wind would take her. Luckily, she was picked up by a British steamer and taken to a Spanish port where she awaited a tugboat from London to bring her back. On the 13th of September, at three o'clock in the afternoon, 1878, the obelisk, that we now call Cleopatra's Needle was erected in its place on the embankment. When Cleopatra's Needle was erected, Egyptian style awnings were added to increase its Egyptian charm and a sphinx either side of the needle was added by George John Villiers. According to ancient tradition, sphinxes are supposed to be facing outwards, protecting the object on its inside. However, our sphinxes are facing inwards, and this is because we just didn't know what we were doing at the time. A mistake that we just didn't fix. Interestingly though, when Cleopatra's Needle was put in place, a time capsule was buried with it, which included newspaper clippings of the day, a cheap razor, hairpins, a baby bottle, a rupee, a portrait of Her Majesty Queen Victoria, who was on the throne at the time in 1878, and 12 pictures of the most beautiful women in England at the time. Although we'll never know who they are until you actually open the time capsule. You might be wondering what the hieroglyphs have inscribed. Well, it was ordered uh, to be made from the Ashwan quarries by Tutmos III and erected in the city of Heliopolis around 1450 to 1480 BC. 
So the inscription is of Tutmos III's names and titles and prayers and offerings to the sun god and it was set into place at the entrance to the Temple of the Sun. But Ramesses II, about 200 years after, added his own name to it and his own military victories. So we have two pharaohs mentioned on this obelisk. It made its way to Alexandria um, on the orders of Cleopatra, who had built a temple for either Mark Antony or Julius Caesar. But no one's actually sure. But that temple was later destroyed, causing the obelisk to fall face down, preserving the hieroglyphs in the Hassans of time. So you see, it may just be a snippet of London's history, but I hope it has intrigued you to find out more. Come to London and explore. I'm Danny the Guide. I hope you've enjoyed this video on London's oldest obelisk. Um, please remember to like, um, share and of course subscribe to my channel.